Hi, I'm Steve Fredrickson. I'm the incoming treasurer of the Board of Directors for Rebuilding Together Twin Cities. Well, the Board Source Training gave our Excellence in Governance team the tools and the new thinking that we could bring back to our board. We were given the authority, accountability, and responsibility as a group to affect change. We offered new ideas, not dictating ways in which Rebuilding Together Twin Cities Board could move to a higher plane. The board was receptive with the right amount of skepticism and accepted that there might be a better way. We have improved upon our capacity to have dialogue at our board meetings. We believe that we're, we have been given the ability to make some actual major changes in the meeting structure, board composition, and communication at the board level, due primarily to the excellent training that we received from board source. First, it's practice, practice, practice then we need to continue to think strategically about how we can best deliver on our mission. The board needs to provide the vision and the strategic plan which allows staff to create and implement an action plan that they are excited about and that they will buy into. We need to continue to use the committee structures for detailed level discussions and direction setting in helping staff achieve the mission and direction. These changes must be ingrained to the, to the fabric of the organization and practiced at every turn in order to become our culture. These changes must be embraced by all stakeholders, board members, staff, consultants, and volunteers. And then finally, we have to have patience, patience, patience. And here's an example of how the board is finding new ways to raise funds to help impact more families. What's the best way to rebuild the Twin Cities neighborhoods most in need? You raise hope. You show homeowners that someone cares by volunteering or donating to Rebuilding Together. We are a nonprofit organization that provides critical home repairs, helping low-income families, seniors, and veterans stay safe, warm, and independent in their own homes. You can restore homes and pride in Twin Cities neighborhoods. Donate or volunteer at Rebuilding Together Twin City. Well, the, the reason I'm on the board of directors of Rebuilding Together is because I truly believe in the mission. I think it's important for those, I'm a little bit more fortunate than a lot of people, and I want to give back. And there are many families um, who are significantly less worse off than I am, and I get an opportunity to help. And I like to be able to help maintain neighborhoods and strengthen them. That's real important to me. Well, I think the organization will truly become more efficient as it in its day-to-day -day, day -day activities because we're putting processes in place and policies in place that allow us to make us not to have to reinvent the wheel every time we go back to a new thing. So we got, have those things in for the staff and we also have those kinds of things for the board. So we're putting in place the stuff that allows us not to go back over and over the same thing and that, that just makes us more efficient and if we're more efficient we can be more effective. We can. We can stretch the dollar, you know, we think right now we, we for every dollar we um, get, we're making it four dollars. Well, we can maybe, for every dollar we can get, we make it four and a half. So those are the kinds of stretching things that we can be able to do we become, by being more efficient, which there creates the more effectiveness.